Hey everybody, I'm New Griffin here, and welcome back to Alien Isolation. We are going to be continuing where we left off last time, which was saving in uh, in the lab, or it was kind of a lab. We're trying to find the, uh, the, the, the key card. So, good news and bad news. Um, this isn't a live recording. The audio isn't a live recording, which is unfortunate for you. Um, sorry, it's it's... Well, it's bad news because it's not the original audio. I don't have any game audio, uh, which means that I basically have to be talking nonstop for the next 33 minutes. So you guys are distracted from the fact that there's no audio here, which is really unfortunate because the audio really adds to the tension here. And unfortunately, I I can't do this. Uh, I, I can't undo this. I can't replay this. Uh, there's no way to do it. I can't go back far enough. Uh, I saved a couple times. And so that's just how it's it's going to have to be. Which, which is unfortunate because you also can't hear the alien. All you can really see is the motion tracker. Which, for, for what it's worth, I have the motion tracker up constantly. So, at the very least, we can see that. Um, I also get to see, because I'm forced to rewatch this, how framey this is. I really need to remember to turn off my, my third monitor while I'm recording. Just to take a little bit of load off my, my CPU. But, um, so the issue here is that I, I re-kajiggered some, some audio settings for my stream, and apparently it wiped all of my audio settings for everything, which is really unfortunate, but mostly just a pain in the butt. Uh, it, I recorded a couple episodes of various things with this all being a problem, and that's just how it's going to have to be. The alien is totally in the vent right now. It is not standing in, in the room next to me. I can hear it. I remember that much, and then it just disappears. Um, it's either staying still, or it... yeah. So yeah, we're, we're wandering down through the halls here, and I totally missed the maps just, just to the right of me, which is silly because it, it hurts me in the past. So yeah, we've got this huge big area. Um, right, and I wanted to confirm that the previous episode, when I was trying to retrace my steps to find his key card, uh, I totally didn't. I totally did not find his key card the first time uh, that I thought I had. I thought I had, and I was making my way back, and I died, and then that was when I stopped for the next episode. Um, yeah, I hear it. I hear it walking around. It's coming through the vents, though, because clearly it's not right on top of me. I would be seeing it. I would have heard doors opening. We've got this big area, and I'm at this point. I'm just committed to running from room to room until I find the right room. And it turns out that this is the right room. And unfortunately, I can tell you that before we find the key card. Yep, found the key card right there. So we uh, we have an interesting view there. I really, really was tempted, like super tempted to try to explore all of this area and just get tons of stuff. Cause I imagine, I can only imagine that there are tons of resources, but I really have no way of knowing that for sure. Uh, mostly because while we did find a lot of stuff, while we did find a lot of stuff, yeah, see I'm pointing out the fact that I missed the maps there. I wasn't sure that it was maps, but based on its placement on the wall, I do eventually realize that. So yep, now our objective is to return to the doctor because of course it is. Uh, I'm double That's a rewire system. And of course, I'm curious what this rewires because it could be really, really helpful. Um, and maybe I'll actually get to look a little bit better because I can't, I'm looking to let the air purification. Uh, so there's door access, which I didn't, yeah. We, I saw air purification and door access on both of them and realized I didn't want to turn either of them off because I want door access everywhere. He's hanging out at the end of the hall. But yeah, we found a good number of resources in this room, mostly because it was on the bodies. And make the, the judgment call here to hide. But yeah, mostly because the, there are resources on the bodies here, but there's there might not be bodies other places. And every single time I step further out, this is a really long and very barren hallway. And I just, that risk of, of continuing to explore uh, it is beeping, by the way. It's nice and close. It was that door opening. 
oh gosh, it messes with my head so much that I'm trying to look out. I'm trying to not necessarily look where my bubble is. I'm trying to look, you know, <laughs> I'm trying to look at the things that I know are interesting because I'm, you know, I want to watch the door. Uh, I did just record this like uh, two hours ago and I went to go process and realized my mistake. So most of what's going on here is fresh in my head. At this point, I would go, oh, I didn't notice that this room doubled back and went through. Why wasn't I trying to do that? And of course, we'll get back to that. But there's the door opening. Because of course it is. That means he's outside. And there he is. Hey there, buddy. Nope, just going to pop his head in. But the door is still open. I'm sitting here going, I'm waiting until the door closes. So when the door closes, at the very least, I know he's not standing right there. And hope he decides to make surprise appearance back in here. Now, of course, we have ominous music here and, and my heartbeat. Oh, gosh. Okay, so that's when my heartbeat flat line, flat, whatever it is. It stopped being responsive. I'm still not sure why that's happening. And whenever I try it not in-game, it seems to work just fine. So I really don't know. But yeah. Um, I'm going to go ahead and... I'm trying to diversify my hiding tactics. Oh, right. So, so I've got some scrap left on the body. And I want to... And there's a, I saw the container up there that I'm, I'm trying to find it. I, it's actually on the other side of that cabinet. I was like, I want to raid it. And I'm like, well, I want to get it, but oh, I do. I, I, yeah, scrap is maxed. And so are my sensors. So we'll just let the door close. And then I'm going to go craft some stuff. Oh, that's right. He's standing right outside. Well, while I'm trapped here, I might as well craft some things. And then the fun part happens. Where I go, do I want to make a pipe bomb? I accidentally selected it. It's like, art right, activate. Well, I don't have one, so. He's either in the vents or he's just hanging out. I really want to leave. Oh, here's the fun part. Where I'm like, oh my gosh, it marks him on the map. And then I'm like, oh wait, no, that's the light on the door. It just happened to be pretty accurate as to where he's probably standing. And of course, I'm getting a decent chuckle out of the fact that I have no idea what's going on. I'm, I'm so super sad that the audio died. I give much better commentary while I'm in the middle. I mean, I guess it's not as thorough of commentary. I'm just going to go ahead and fill out all the pipe bomb stuff. And then, lo and behold, there he is. He opened the door. But uh, I didn't notice him. I just said, well, he either sees us or he doesn't. So we make a pipe bomb. That's all nice and good. Of course, we now have to watch the motion tracker because clearly he is out and about and around. I'm still waiting to see if I can find a good bit of evidence for the AI of the alien. As I said, I'm trying to diversify where I'm hiding, so I'll hide in lockers, I'll hide under beds. I will admit that I do not have the guts to hide in, in the vents. Um, the movie ruined the hell out of that for me. Because uh, Dallas goes into the vents and gets taken in the first movie. Um, yeah, I don't want to have that experience because that's how you die. So he's pretty far away. He's traveling fast enough that he's probably in the vents. Yeah, that transition when I hit tab looks really, really mucky. That full frame, the full refresh. Yeah, that's me contemplating exploring other places and also bemoaning the fact that I don't have the map because maybe I could get more information. I'm I'm pretty darn petrified under here, and it's mostly because, as I was saying earlier, the hallway is very barren. Like it is, it is not a good. It's not a good thing to be out there, and so, every single time I need to take a step out there, 
I worry. What is in the hallway? Or no, he's traveling fast enough. I think he's in the vents. I do want to get those maps. And I totally forget to pick up. I totally forget to finish raiding everything. So we get in here. I, I, that says security access, but I'm hearing foot, footsteps outside, or at least loud sounds close. I'm trying to figure out if this is actually a valid hiding spot or if I'm going to get screwed. For some reason, I totally forget that that door isn't see-through. I see that we've got a computer here, and he's coming back around. So he's probably coming back through the hallway. Having my eyes on the screen is pretty much the only reason why I can actually guess what I'm thinking about here. So I'm trying to figure out exactly where he is. Obviously, I see that that door is locked. I realize that it probably said, use my security thing to, to hack it open. But hacking the terminal seems dangerous. There's the rewire terminal. I double check that it says use the access tuner. Go ahead and read that. Oh yeah, I remember where this goes. See, I'm starting to remember. So he's hanging out outside. Go ahead and pop on in. Unfortunately, because he is behind me, or effectively behind me, I have no way of actually using the motion tracker to see him, except for hearing the bleeps and how close they may be, but that doesn't really give me a good idea. I, I don't think that it's bad that they did it this way, that you can't see the bottom of the motion tracker, because basically, if you can see him, if his blip is in there, then you either see him or he's in the vents, or, or he's further out on the, on the motion tracker. Oh yeah, I'm fixing, I'm fixing my heart rate monitor, because I just now noticed that it flatlined. As I said, it's really bad sometimes. I really want to fix it, but at the same time, oh wow, did it? It just immediately went from one, from one to the next. Look, my heart rate is not that consistent. Oh, never mind. There we go. So yeah, he's flying around in the vents, and I go, okay, it's time to leave. I'm not running. I'm just walking. We grab the map. I need book. I don't know exactly why I chose not, or I chose not to open the other door because it wasn't in my path, and I'm presuming that I'm probably never coming back here. But he is nowhere. Yeah, that's the door we would come out. He's nowhere on the radar. But me not wanting to push my luck, I go ahead and take a duck here. Swing around. I don't hear anything. The one thing that. I think you lose the most from yeah I realize I can save the game here the one thing I think you lose the most of not having the game audio is you don't get the random motion sensor blips because that's the thing that really gets me right like you're gonna do something you're about to do something the radio is clear and then suddenly mwam, <laughs> and you go oh gosh did he drop out of a vent like right next to me you know what's going on here Oh, that's right. And that's when I noticed that it's called a secu Oh no, it's a personnel terminal or personal terminal. I didn't know. I don't know if it said personnel or personal. I thought it was a security terminal and I did not notice my mistake until just now. So I get caught on this res on this garbage can or whatever it is and I just decide to push it out cuz I figure I'm going to end up under here again. And also that's like it kind of blocks line of sight. I don't know how their line of sight is implemented in this game. Because there are different ways for that to happen. So I decide that I want to get back into that personal or personnel uh, computer. That opens, which gives me a little mini heart attack, but he's nowhere near. Where it's nowhere near. She's nowhere near. I actually don't know that if the aliens. Oh, and he's right there. He is literally right there. So I'm like, open, 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 open. Love my heart. My heart rate is definitely up there. Um, I hear, you know, I hear the bleeps out to the left. But obviously, I feel safe. My heart rate's going, and he's zooming again. A 
I'm definitely trying to use this map. And this is one of the things that I was commenting on is I'm tr really trying to use the map as well as the motion tracker to peg exactly where he is. So I know when and I can and can't approach things. So if he's over there, that means he's not over here. Oh my gosh, the frames. I'm, I'm just now noticing how bad that is. Yeah, I really need to remember to do that. So I could have backed up further into that door, but for some reason I keep thinking it's like the other doors that have windows on it. And I don't know what the alien would do if it saw me through a window. I mean, I, I personally presume that if it saw me through a window, it would it would show up. The question is, to what degree? And see, this is where the line of sight becomes questionable, because right here, I don't know if it sees me. It clearly does. It makes sounds, and I'm, I'm dead. Dead, dead, dead. Because um, I'm, I'm nowadays used to playing Dead by Daylight. Which, if you haven't seen me streaming, uh, you can see me streaming now and again, um, very sporadically. But in that game, you're it's literally human versus human. So, yes, there's tall grass, and people can hide in it. But, you know, it's one of those things where... It's really up to whether or not the person sees you. You can be in plain sight and not get seen. Like, it's very much a how does it feel sort of thing. Yeah, so I left a sensor and some scrap in that room, and I'm never going to get it. So, yeah, here's me thinking about whether or not <laughs> I find myself in this position again. This room does not have good hiding places, it has only the lockers, and that's that's it took the risk here I actually kinda wanna pause it and see uh, the shared file didn't really have anything it was just describing injuries so I realized that there's nothing useful there I thought maybe it would be to open the door or open a door somewhere or you know tell me that there's a good place to be and then comes the thing that I don't like and that's this door so I, I choose to open this door and it's you know the same little mini game as you want before but while this is going on you do hear blips also I totally fucked this up incorrect code yeah uh, which is the first time I've ever actually messed it up I think so once again checking where he's at nowhere to be found but that's the thing you still get the blips so, as I'm sitting here, at least once or twice, I hear a blip, like right here. I'm pretty sure I heard a blip, and I went, do I want to open this door? And the problem is, you just stand there. Like, that moment of just stand there. Like, you can't, like, hit the last button, like, from halfway around the corner, you know, slink around. You know, I, I really am committed to using this, this box as a hiding spot, even though I, it doesn't work. Or it didn't work before. But then again, there's the other times that I just I just juked it and hard when I had no right to do so. So, as I said, that's why I'm a little curious how the line of sight stuff works here. Because I don't want to say that it seems fishy, because it, it doesn't. Um, there are a couple times where it seems a bit odd. Like, even in this episode, if you go back to when I was hiding under the medical bed and the door opened while I was crafting stuff like I could see its head it could you know, so it could clearly see my head like that whole if you can see them they can see me thing like that's relatively relevant here although it's not really if I can see you it's if I can see your eyes you have the ability to see my eyes so right here no sensors you know nothing's on sensor I'm just walking I'm not running I I don't run I do know that it makes noise. I don't know, like, that's one of those things, where, like, I don't want to attract the alien. Because you, you have to walk. So, yeah, that door's open behind me because, of course, it is. 
There's nothing on sensor. I'm trying to figure out which way I need to go. Deciding if I if I want to go for another save. Yeah, I'm not sure what I'm thinking about right now. Not sure. Oh, I'm fixing I'm fixing my heart rate monitor because it was it was it went bad again because of course it did. Because of course it did. All right. So so all right. So my plan here is I'm going to just take a take a jaunt right through the center of the hallway and if I feel nervous, I can bail out into that other ward out on the left. Um, I didn't hear anything, but I just kind of went, oh, there's this vent here. Why don't I just get in the vent? Because as far as I know, he, well, I'm sure the alien can come down into these vents, but it's kind of one of those things. So yeah, I'm, I'm looking at the various ways that I could go about, and, and this doesn't really save me that much distance, but it saves me this distance from being out in the open, and it gives me a position from which I can monitor the hallway uh, for motion. Now, granted, as you can tell from the screen, and I did, I do remember commenting on this, it's really great that the screen is like kind of messed up when you're doing this because it shouldn't be perfect. You're literally walking into this tiny, like, you know, square box of metal, which is bad, which is really bad for anything that we would call a sensor because um, metal tends to, you know, muck with the electricity. All right, no alien to be seen. So yeah, getting out, I kind of lost track of where I was. Don't hear anything, I don't see anything. <laughs> I'm very worried about that pipe. And I get back out. And so, this is great. The first thing I do, of course, is hide. Because I don't know if the alien can follow me. I'm trying to figure out exactly what I need to do. So I need to get back to Dr. Coleman. And so that's what we're going to do. So luckily, this is one of the nice things uh, is that I, I do have the, the things up on the, on this, on the uh, display. So the sub subtitles, there we go. It's late. It's late and I shouldn't be recording this, but I really wanted to get this processed and uploaded. So. I'm watching the alien here because I'm not sure how the alien is supposed to react to this. So he's going to go do stuff. I don't remember exactly what he said. I don't, I don't know if I can be bold here. I don't know if I'm technically safe from the alien right now. But since it doesn't seem to be too close, I'm just going to go ahead and save. And if I can pull it off, I can pull it off. And I do, safely. Now, there is some banging around in the vents. There is motion and all that. That's why I'm hiding, because there's motion. But but I, I did realize that he was the motion. But then also, very obviously, the lights are out. And there's the alien. So, of course, he's dead. And now we need to get to the elevator. So the elevator is literally right there. So I go ahead and just frickin' run. And I use the key card. So the elevator should work. I hear the audio. I'm waiting for the elevator to go. So here's where I'm figuring right now, because here comes the alien, and it's dropping down. I'm figuring this is a cutscene. The doors are going to close right before it gets there. Nope. <laughs> like, that's what I was expecting. I was expecting, like, a cinematic cutscene. And of course, here I'm a little confused. I'm like, what's going on? Why? Uh, and it's because I'm silly. Well, I used the key card, but I didn't actually push a button. But it's, it, I don't know. See, to me, we picked up a key card from the doctor. Who knows what it's going to do? I could have further explored this area. Like, I'm pretty sure that there's good stuff in those other rooms, and I'm tempted to actually look it up. But. While he's still talking, I'm already here. Like, he, the alien is taking him right now. 
as I press this button. And of course I laugh because I'm silly because I didn't press that button. And that's of course how I died. Motion tracker's only, yeah. Motion tracker is only accurate in the direction you are facing. Keep an eye on the side and rear indicators. My eyes are very erratic. Right, okay. I was trying to figure out why the, the there was so much left in the episode. So yeah, we, we need to find a trauma kit. And of course, we got a save station. Um, there are some rumblings going on around me, just some general like noise in the in the air ducts. It sounds like uh, I'm not confident that it's not the alien. Like not at all confident it's not the alien, but you know I'm kind of waiting to to see the locked door. I'm being cautious, but I literally just saved in an area that I'm now new to. And since I used an elevator, it seems fair that the alien would take a little bit to figure it out. So we go ahead and pull this stun baton out from being jammed in the door, and the door is now not broken, which is very nice. I'm trying to figure out where he is. Like, he's just zooming around in the vents, basically. I did pick both of the, or all those up. So yeah, I'm not sure what those what those motions are. I'm not sure if that's like part of me is sitting here thinking maybe that's a robot. Uh, just because you know we've moved on to a different area, this could be another area with robots. Um, it's not, of course. And I look at this room and I go, oh god, if I walk into this room, where the hell am I gonna hide? Because that's it's not a good. I'm wondering if I'm gonna see one see him through the window, you know, fun stuff like that. But we do have environmental control oh, that's right we find some more stuff oh yeah I feel like I could definitely be taking better advantage of all the items that I have here we go I find this hiding spot and I will spend a good bit of time here yep he's right on top of me that is a very distressing sound when it is just right on top of you that bleep 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 just goes through the roof through the ever loving roof um, but yeah, so looking at the map here, we've got some rooms that we can't get into, and otherwise we have had, we've walked everywhere that we can possibly go. So the answer is obviously this terminal, but I am very worried about just getting walked in on, because that's, that is, that's like outside in the hallway. But I'm sitting here going like, how can we pull that off? Like, it's such a small space, and then it's gone. Which as I said, could be it's standing still. I didn't intend to crouch down like that. I wanted to see if there were any passwords on the on the sticky notes. Because people are bad like that. Uh, there's I didn't actually read these. There's the utility to activate the cooling system that doesn't seem to be working. Like I actually I actually don't know why it doesn't seem like it's working. Because it actually is. Obviously I don't know this yet. But I now notice that, of course, those are active and we can interact with them, so clearly that's what we need to do. It says engage the coolant, which is great. I mean, yeah, he could be right outside the door right now. Which means I want to stay where the hell I am. And of course I'm wondering whether or not the alien is attracted to the these sounds. Because those moving those in is making like the very like the pressure sounds, you know, the the hisses and and things like that that you know from a pressurized system. So he appears to be far enough away. I actually, in retrospect, don't think the alien like I'm pretty sure I could run around. Maybe not run around, but at the very least, walk or walked around with impunity here. But they do give me a place to hide. Which, of course, has me at least a little bit worried. So I figure I activate all the things. Oh, there's something sitting on the desk that I missed. I figured I did all the things. Maybe I can activate it now. The answer is no, or at least nothing changes. Except little do I know it's already active. Yeah, there's something on the desk to the left there. I wonder if I pick it up or not. So I'm going to go go over here. That door is still locked. 
course, I'm keeping as close of an eye on the alien as I can. And I think at this point I go, oh, right, I, I didn't search that yet. I knew that I searched it eventually. I just thought I already had. And those lamps are not what we are looking for. But this door is now open, presumably because the climate has been controlled. That is what we need. These bodies are not lootable, which is sad. And then I hear banging from behind the wall, like banging from behind the wall. And I'm like, I don't know if that's a door. I don't know what that is. Can it come out of that? Are there holes in the ceiling it can drop down from? Because it's right on top of me, just in the vents. And it appears that no, there's not, there's no way for it to get in here. I'm still looking. Yeah, it's like right behind those vents. And it's going away. So I will gather my nerve and like the fact that there's that vent just hanging out like right there drives me a little nuts. Please tell me I noticed the thing on the counter. I'm so intent on hiding in this corner. I think this is a better hiding spot than the uh, the thing, the the cabinet. It might not be, but he's zooming around like every good alien should. And I. Am I going to try and operate the computer again? No. Okay, so I, I do totally miss that thing that's sitting on the counter. Maybe I'll go back for it. Because now I'm going to go save again. Now that I've presumably done everything that I need to do. And, oh right, this is where I call it. This is where I call it, and I got to notice that my heart rate is messed up again. Because it always is. And I think that's where I'm going to go ahead and leave the commentary. The screen's going to stay up a little bit, but I don't want to overspeak uh, my welcome here just, just in case I don't want to have to deal with, with the audio being cut off. So thank you guys for watching. I apologize for this audio snafu. It just kind of is what it is. And there's not much I can do about it, especially in a game like this that's, you know, linear. So, well... Not necessarily linear, but I can't go backwards in time. It's not a roguelike, so I can't just redo things. But yeah, thank you for watching. I will see you next time. And until then, keep your gears turning.